This is my room, or the main room. Quite big. Yeah. I am quite naturally tidy. This is where I come in and I'll just make myself some food, sit on this chair in particular, just reflect and make notes on the day or on training and stuff. If I am down on a Friday or Saturday, even on my own, if I want to go and watch football, I'll go in Banana Wharf and yeah, yeah. sit there with a bit of food and watch yeah. a football. And, yeah. Because you don't, it's just nice. No one sort of looks different at you because you're a girl sitting on your own watching football. Yeah, it's yeah. just people will talk to you. Are you interested in football? And yeah. so it's been quite good. You know, when I was playing football, my dad, you know, my family supported me. When I had Sophie, my family supported me. You know, they went, I went back to playing for England because they said, you've got to go. You're not, you know, don't worry about Sophie. She's going to, you know, she, she'll stay with us. It's not a problem. Yeah. So I wouldn't, you know, a lot of the stuff that I've done in the years, over the years, has been because of people, you know, and their support and how they've helped me and it's no different now. You almost want people to go down to St Mary's on a Saturday and watch the men and then go down to AFC Tottenham on a Sunday to watch the women. Exactly, because, you know, we're, we're, we're a club yeah. and that's, you know, that's going back to your first question, it feels that way. Yeah. And I appreciate what the girls give. You're making this choice. You're making this choice because you enjoy it. You're making this choice because you're very good at it, you know, to be a footballer as well as everything else. Some of them, they might go on to be professional players. Some of them might go on to be lawyers. Some of them might go on to be, you know, teachers. So if we've given them the time and the opportunity to balance their life now, then that's a life skill for the future for them as well. If it's to go now, I don't think yeah. she's set then. And then. And then there's way to pass. This was the game, wasn't it? Yeah, so much good stuff in this game. But also, if you think about, so where Ellie now, she can make that direct run into the into the, there. Yeah. So Sh Shelley can actually release the ball earlier. But now I think she's in a good place. Ellie. Now she, yeah, now she is. Talking about your playing days, travelling back a couple of years now. <laughs> have you got a highlight from that? I was so fortunate to have such a fantastic career. You know, playing at the highest level for England, for Arsenal, um, played abroad. Standout moments, you're always going to say like, your first cap as an England player. Scoring a hat-trick for your country, scored a hat-trick at Anfield for Arsenal, one at the Cop End. So all the things that you kind of associate with the history of football, whether it's male or female, it's just football. I really appreciate what I had in terms of a career. Um, and even now, sort of like in coaching, people still come up and say, you know, you, I watched you when, when I was younger and I'm thinking, well, how young were you then? Yeah. Um, I want to ask you quickly as well about the Women's World Cup in the summer. you be watching it, I guess? I will be, because again, it's an opportunity to watch more football and see the international trends as well as the, uh, our, our trends. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a fantastic spectacle. I think France are, you know, building it up to be the, the best World Cup. Yeah. Um, it'll be funny being there, watching it now after being there in Canada in 2015. Yeah. People come around with a Steph Horton shirt on and a, a Lucy Bronze shirt, and going into the club shops and saying, can I have a women's shirt with Kirby on it? And, and you're seeing like, uh, mascots coming out in games, even in the men's game now, with a women's player's name on the back. But, you know, we've got the squad that can go out and win that World Cup. Yeah. So I'm excited to see lift, us lifting the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So we're meeting with every player over, or we have done over the last few weeks. Anything that you've got questions for us, anything that we can support you with, and then it'll be around your individual development plan and how we keep Shelley proven at the highest point of <laughs> performance for the next 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Just 10? <ten>. Yeah. <laughs> So the first team will be defenders and goalkeepers. So units, the, the two units together. So they can work on the twister and the midfielders and the forwards are working on the pieces of paper along there. Blue left hand. Alicia's usually quite quiet, but um, she really came up for a shell and basically bossed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's out in 43 minutes, so... Could you have stepped up first? I'm trying to build yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. 
Uh, left foot red. So I have taken confidence from everybody in this room at the moment and people that aren't in this room at the moment, that they, they really believe in the journey that we're on. And that gives me confidence to go to the board, to go to through the club and tell them exactly how good we are and how good we can be. Some really purposeful messages in everything that Amanda said today. So now it's about putting it into action and really believing in what you, who you are and what you've got because you haven't achieved what you've achieved in the last seven months, in the last 16 years, 35 years, without having some form of confidence in yourself. Now just keep building it, keep believing in yourself.